is up, y'all. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here at the beach. Today, we are gonna be getting some redemption and we're gonna be trying something new. Let me just give you a quick pan around super fast. So it was a uh, high tide and the tide's been going out. If you guys remember a couple videos ago, the sketchy jetty, we are returning to that. You'll see why it's called the sketchy jetty here in a second. It's, it's scary to go out on. But yeah, as I said, when we got here, it was kind of high tide, so I couldn't actually get to the jetty. We had to wait a little bit. I mean, it's not a bad place to wait, you know what I'm saying? But there's actually like a bunch of shells and just like beach debris that kind of gets left here as the tide goes out. Let me show you real quick. Stuff like this. Now the really cool thing, this has been keeping me busy here. Mixed in with these shells and rocks and all this stuff on the beach there are sharks teeth shark have a lot of freaking teeth at their mouth and it's really freaking cool to like search around in this it's like a little easter egg hunt and you can find some fossilized sharks teeth which we did that and we found a few is that one right there? that is a rock let me know if y'all see anything right there i think this right here is like a stingray tooth kind of thing let me show you though this is so addicting let me show you all what we found all right Y'all ready for this professional shark teeth hunter? So, if you, actually, there's more in the cooler we found earlier, but I just went out and grabbed some of these. Look at this, do you see? Dude, look how freaking sick this is. This one is like bent. That tooth is a little excited. But we have a small tooth, and then this looks like a different kind of tooth. And they have like things on the side of the teeth. I don't know, to me this is super freaking cool. If any of you guys know, what kind of uh, sharks those teeth belong to, please let me know. So, we've got two rods out here, we got the fishing bag, and before we came here, ooh, picked up some good old live shrimp. I think they hopefully should be good. They've been sitting out, they're putting in the shade. No, they're good. So if y'all have kind of watched the videos, I filmed two videos here before. When we go out on the sketchy jetty, most of the time I was just throwing shrimp and I had like a little weight and we we're just casting it out. Caught some really cool stuff, caught I think redfish, sharks, there's so many things that is like on the menu that we could possibly catch. But today we're doing something that the locals do a lot of and I have never done it before. This is, I believe called a popping cork. This is the Cajun Thunder. I have no freaking clue. There's so many of them in the taco, I just picked one. But this, uh, I think hopefully should help us catch some fish. We'll talk more about it after we get it rigged up and uh, we'll get out there. It's gonna be sketchy, but hopefully gonna be worth it. All right, let's get out there. Oh, dude, the tide's going out like real quick. All right, we could definitely get up there now, real quick. I have a few strawberries. All right, farewell Kelsey. She's gonna be doing some sun beach bathing. Oh boy, I, I think I see somebody else going out. Makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> if you don't tell you, this, this jetty, dude. Sheesh. Oh, look at this, there's like cool tide pools here and stuff. Again, I've never been here at like this tide cycle. <sighs> so maybe this is like the good fishing. Oh, my freaking sh My foot just got soaked in that shoe. All right, is this the good spot to get up? Is there a better one? Let's try this. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was spooky. All right. So, you can see kind of why I say this jetty is sketchy. It is that. For, I don't even know the actual distance it goes. I'd say at least a mile. It goes way out into the ocean, but today we're gonna try to go further than I've ever been before. So that should be interesting. I think the thing that really messes with your head when doing this is like some of them are completely crooked and some are facing different ways and stuff. So like, I mean, as I could see, barely can fit like two feet on there. It's just gotta take it slow, be patient. We got the power of the shark teeth today. All we need is patience. Wow, this tide really went out quick though. I'll tell you that. We have officially been out at the furthest I've ever been on this jetty, so that is a thing. It's a little, a little bit sketchy. This is a nice rock here though. Might drop it right there, post up. Uh, let me just give you a view. That is how far away. I mean, we're out here, dude. We are out here. So uh, I would definitely, please, if you guys are doing any kind of jetty fishing or saltwater stuff or anything on rocks, uh, please be prepared. Wear some like corkers or some kind of shoes that are definitely gonna have grip, you know, some studded stuff. 
Right now we just do not have stuff to deal with. Like, can you see this? That is like slick as ice. So you gotta know where to step, but also like just precaution, you should have, you know, corkers. So from the research I've done, which is really not a lot, a popping cork is supposed to help with a couple different things. First of all, I don't know if you can hear that, it rattles. So that's supposed to attract fish. And then I guess it's supposed to keep them upright so you don't get snagged and it's kind of more floating. I don't know, I kind of look at it as, okay, we're fishing with a bobber and hook for, you know, a bluegill, I guess. But a lot of people in this area, they do this kind of saltwater fishing. I don't know if I have this rigged up, by the way. Please, if anybody knows, or if anybody has tips, let me know in the comments below. So this is the rig. Absolutely no clue if this is how it's actually supposed to be. But basically, double uni knot, braid to leader, then to popping cork dude, and then leader to shrimp dude. And this is the loose inshore speed stick. So I'm just gonna toss this out there. <laughs> We're gonna try this side first. I mean, I guess I'll just kind of see the bobber going, right? Not the bobber, what is it called? I feel like bobbers have a negative connotation in the fishing industry. It's interesting though, a lot of people use this rig here. By the way, there's a big, uh, I think they're dredging right there. Big old rig. Yeah, I guess we'll just see a bobber down if something happens and just kind of slam that thing. Again, these kind of rigs, from what I believe, it's more popular kind of like North Florida slash Georgia slash Carolinas, maybe in Louisiana as well. It's pretty interesting too, because I know a lot of people use like float rigs all the way up West Coast for trout and salmon and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's cool to see like there's some parallels to certain kinds of fishing. This is interesting. Yeah, I've never done this before. Usually I would just throw the shrimp out. Oh my God. Dude, I saw him come up for it. Whoa, that is so cool. Whoa, we just jumped. Dude, I literally, this water is so clear. Oh my gosh. Dude, please tell me I'm recording. This is a light setup too, kind of, to be using out here. Oh, what is that? Please don't. All right, chill, 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 chill. I, I just want to see what it is. What is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. Dude, this is the first one of these I've caught. All right, hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh, that probably took longer than it needed to to get him on the grippers. Whoa. All right, let me show you guys a better look. Gotta get this hook out of his mouth real quick. This is an old friend of ours. This is pretty cool, man. That is a bluefish. This is a fish you really gotta be careful of the teeth. You really do not wanna mess with those freaking teeth, man. I've seen some things happen. People get bit. These things are aggressive and I believe they school up too. So let me get this hook out real quick and we're gonna let him go. All right, first fish of the day. Oh, boom. That is so freaking cool, dude. So if you guys don't know, um, I'm sure most of you know, I'm from Delaware and we actually had bluefish runs sometimes. There's videos on my channel catching monster gator bluefish off the beach. That was, it's one of my fondest memories really of fishing, especially in Delaware. It's so freaking cool. And now we have a tangled, bobber seemed to work pretty good though i didn't even really ugh, what is going on all right that is awesome that is what i want to see it's just something around i just want to catch whatever bites dude that that's honestly the first bluefish i've caught in so 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 long is this dude alive yeah it looks like it let's see what else is out here I might need to put a new leader on if we get any other toothy critters. Just go right over there. Not even casting too far off the uh, actual jetty. I might, yeah, I might need to make that leader a little longer. All right, well, to be honest, not much is really happening on this side right now. Ugh. I'm gonna walk a little bit over here. We're gonna try this other side. It's a little bit more windy. Oh boy. Yeah, we're not really gonna be able to cast, are we? <laughs> I'll try to keep that in play right there. You'd think if there'd be some fish, they'd be hugged up tight to the structure of the jetty, maybe. 
This might be unfishable with this bobber. Big old something jumped out there. What the heck was that? So you know what I kind of realized too with this rig that we got on? Let me try to get down to the rock again. Looks like there's life around here. But with this like jiggling bobber, when the shrimp moves, it kind of makes the bobber sound off too. So that's like another added bonus. I didn't even know, like I didn't think of that. Shrimp aren't lasting too long today, though, I'll tell you that. I don't know if it's the bobber or like, I don't, I don't know. So kind of like from my perspective, what's going on is that there could have been a little school bluefish or whatever, but basically they are just always moving. And I think they're going to be patrolling just off the jetties because there's a lot of bait that gets pushed up. Like uh, if you ever go to a jetty, sometimes you just look in these rocks and there's smaller fish or other types of bait that could be close into the shore. So they kind of just roll when patrol right on the outside of the rocks, right where it kind of drops off a little bit. I'm sure there's other species doing that too. I just wish I could fish the other side and just check that out. But it's just so like, I looked at the weather report before we came out and I thought it was going to be too windy here, but the wind's really only affecting that side, which is kind of nice. But the past other two times I've been here, that's the side that produced for me. I think that's the first fish I ever caught on this side. I think I'm going to switch up here. So we took the bobber off and let me show you the rig real quick. We are just going with something super simple. A little lead weight going down to the hook. We'll try more on the bottom, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully the shrimp are still kicking. I'm tempted to like really experiment here. It's just like when you have live shrimp, you know, it's like hard to like if, if I want to catch anything that bites, I feel like this is going to be the bait, you know. See if anything more towards the bottom or if this is just a better presentation or maybe it's too windy. Every time I cast the bobber out, it's kind of just going to the left, I think, because of the wind. So I don't know, maybe this would have been a better strike zone. Get a little lucky. If not, we'll switch up. I got I mean, we got all kinds of we got swim baits. We got some darn gulp and stuff. It'd be cool to catch a flounder out here. It'd be cool to catch a sheep's head too. Redfish, literally anything. I, I will catch, I'll catch more bluefish. Either way, it's just awesome to be out here. And again, this is like realistic kind of fishing, you know, I'm completely unguided. I don't really know too much. I mean, every time you go to a jetty, I feel like you learn a little bit more. Jetty fishing is kind of different than a lot of other kind of fishing. You're not in a kayak, you can't hit the, you know, best spots available. You're kind of bound to the jetty and the natures of, they're the forces of nature. I just got bit. That was a bite. I got a fish. Hold on a second. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, what is this? No, 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 get away out of that, away from that rock. Away from the rock, away from the rock. What is this? Oh, no, that is not what we want. I mean, I guess that makes sense if we were fishing on the bottom. <laughs> this might even be worse than a shark, dude. Uh, we have a freaking stingray. <clears throat> okay. Very gentle. You see that right there? Darn it, man. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. That shouldn't be too bad to get out. But that is... I feel like that's, it, that's, that's got to be more dangerous than a shark to catch, right? Look, that thing's trying to smack me out all the way from over there. Eww. This will be a little sketchy. Whoa. Oh. She's going back, slowly sliding. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. That was like really dangerous. I didn't, I didn't even show you guys that. I just kind of went down and poop. All right, you're good. Just slide back. Flop a little bit. Ooh, good, good. <sighs> okay. Sick. Well, second species of the day. Not sure what kind of stingray that was, but that was some something, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, that honestly might be one of the 
things I was least expecting to catch. I don't even know if I ever caught that species of stingray before. I don't know if I got, oh geez, really a good uh, picture or not. All right, y'all, well, that is pretty much it here for this video. Uh, we did fish a good amount at the jetty, but I talked to this guy, like we walked on this boardwalk thingy and the guy works there and he basically said that, if you guys saw in the video, like that big boat that was out there dredging, he said that ever since they've been doing that, the fishing has just been like non-existent. He's been getting a lot of people tell him that like they just cannot catch any fish. The fact that we like, caught fish, I mean, as I always say, just being out there is just awesome, especially like it's, it's sketchy to get out there, but being out there is just so cool, especially when you're far away and you can like look over and see the beach and stuff. So yeah, not the best fishing day, but it was pretty cool. We caught two species that I've not caught in so freaking long. I can't remember the last time I caught a stingray. If you guys, again, haven't seen those bluefish videos from way back in the day, definitely I'll link them down in the description below, especially the one is freaking crazy. We were doing like short wade fishing, big gator bluefish, um, yeah. That, that's a good video to check out. It's getting windy here today though. That's pretty much gonna be it here for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying these. Uh, we've been doing three videos a week, which is crazy. Never thought I'd be doing that, but I've been having so much fun with it. Again, shout out to Eli for editing these videos and yeah, helping me out. As always, though, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support again. I gotta say, man, let's keep this going. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.